According to the latest estimates, there are around 4 billion hectares of forests remaining on Earth. With just over a quarter being made up of ones that haven't been affected by human activity. They're found in virtually every region and are vital for local ecosystems. Not every forest though is simply a dense area of trees. As there are some that are far more magnificent or mysterious than you could possibly imagine. Prepare to enter a realm where not everything is as it seems. As we take a look at the 15 most unusual forests in the world. Number 15. Hoya Bachu Forest. When you think of Transylvania the first things that come to mind are the castles and the vampires. But they aren't the only mysterious forces at work in the Romanian province. Just to the west of the city of cluj napoca you'll find the Hoya Basa Forest which is said to be one of the most haunted forests in the world. With trees that have strangely bent and twisted as they've grown a strange eerie silence and quite often covered in a thick layer of fog, various visitors have reported hearing strange sounds like footsteps and the wailing of a child. There are countless stories of people disappearing from the woods some of whom reappeared many years later with no recollection of what had happened. And these have led to theories of ghosts and hauntings and perhaps even the presence of aliens. Sometimes it's called the Bermuda Triangle of Romania. Most of these stories can be dismissed as a simply paranormal legend, but there's one thing that simply can't be explained towards the center there's a large circular area where for some reason no trees have ever grown. There doesn't appear to be anything wrong with the ground there, so it remains a complete mystery how and why this has happened. Like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get one week good luck for you. Try this it really works. Number 14. Quiver Tree Forest. Not every forest in the world is densely packed with trees, and there are some that are surprisingly sparse. The Quiver Tree Forest in Namibia is one of these. And despite only having around 250 trees, it's still an incredibly important region. And was declared a national monument of the country in 1995. Located in the south of Namibia, it's where you'll find a number of specimens of a species of tree called Allodendron dichotomum, which is more commonly known as the quiver tree. Because local communities have for centuries used the branches to make quivers with. The thick tubular branches are perfect for hollowing out to be used for storage, and it's for this reason that the species is grown across Africa. This particular forest is the only known natural quiver tree forest. However and some of the trees are more than 300 years old. Beyond being useful for construction the species is spiritually important to some communities who believe that its unusual appearance means that they're linked with good fortune. Digging one up in Namibia for example is said to bring such good luck that you'll discover diamonds during your lifetime. But very few people actually tried this theory out because trees are a protected species. Number 13. The Crooked Forest. Located close to the Polish town of Grafino, which is on the country's border with Germany. The so-called Crooked Forest is one of the most mysterious forests in the world. At first, you'll find yourself walking through pine trees and won't think there's anything too unusual about the place. But when you reach the center things soon take an unexpected turn. There is around 100 pine trees that are anything but ordinary. Because their trunks all sharply bend towards the north just a few inches above the ground. After following this strange curve they point upwards again, but no one has any idea why these strange deformations have happened. What is known is that the trees were planted at some point during the 1930s, but beyond that, it's a mystery. There are a few theories as to how this could be possible. From a particularly heavy snowstorm that forced the trees to grow at a different angle or purposeful human intervention in order to produce the curved timber that would be far easier to use in the construction of boats or furniture. Extensive studies however have failed to definitively find the true cause. So for now we simply don't know. It's certainly an unusual thing to see though so perhaps it's no surprise that the forest has particularly in recent years become a popular tourist attraction. Number 12. Kandy Lake. Kandy Lake is in the Colse Lakes National Park around 81 miles to the east of Almaty. The largest city in Kazakhstan was only formed relatively recently and because of this has become known as the home to one of the most unusual forests in the world. 
It was once a natural gorge full of spruce trees. But this all changed in 1911. The Kevin earthquake which struck on the 3rd of January that year and measured a magnitude of 7.7 caused untold damage across the region, including causing the deaths of 452 people and destroying hundreds of buildings and creating more than 125 miles of surface fault lines. A further consequence of this was that the earthquake triggered a huge limestone landslide that blocked one end of the gorge and formed a natural dam. With nowhere else to go the water passing down the Candy River began to accumulate and the lake that we see today was formed. This isn't too uncommon an event to occur, but what was unique about this case was the presence of the established spruce forest. Due to the cold temperature of the water, the trunks of the trees were preserved instead of beginning to rot away and have subsequently become covered in algae and moss. Amazingly the trees have continued to grow, but without side branches or bark, and are now white in color. To make things even stranger the continuously changing levels of minerals in the water means that it turns to different colors. Usually deep blues or greens, but as you walk up to the edge of the lake it becomes crystal clear, and you can easily see fish swimming around. Number 11. Arashima Bamboo Forest. Bamboo is normally seen as a useful material to harvest or to add an unusual feature to your backyard. But when the fast-growing plants are allowed to reach their full potential the results can be astonishing. One of the best places to see this is the Arashima Bamboo Forest, which is near Kyoto in Japan. It's just a short journey from the city center, but once you enter the place it's like you've been transported to a different world. Huge bamboo stalks around you that are in some cases 30 to 50 feet tall and create a peaceful environment where there's a wall of plant life on either side and a canopy above as you walk along the wooden footpaths. It's one of the most popular natural spaces in Kyoto. But while the visuals are certainly a major part of that attraction the sounds are equally as unusual. Because the bamboo grows tightly packed together you can hear the rustling of the leaves the creaking of the wood, and the occasional tap when the trunks touch one another. It's because of this that the forest has been named by Japan's Ministry of the Environment as being one of the most 100 important soundscapes in the country. And it's said to be one of the most peaceful and calming places you could ever set foot in. Number 10. Ancient Bristlecone Pine Forest. The ancient bristlecone pine forest is as the name would suggest. A forest that's full of incredibly old pine trees that have found the Californian climate ideal to thrive in. High up in the White Mountains of Inyo County the trees grow in altitudes between 9,800 and 11,000 feet above sea level. And are so botanically important that they're protected as part of a national forest. What's particularly special and unusual about this forest is that it's home to the oldest known living organism in the world. A great basin bristlecone pine tree called Methuselah. It's estimated to be at least 4,850 years old and is considered to be one of the great wonders of the natural world. Although it's not as easy to see as you might think. Visitors to the park can embark on the Methuselah Grove Trail, which is a four and a half mile long route that takes you past the region of the forest where the tree is. But Methuselah itself isn't marked and its precise location is a highly guarded secret. This is because there have been attempts to destroy trees in the forest before. And those who are responsible for taking care of the ecosystem are worried that if its whereabouts became publicly known it would only take one person to ruin it for everyone else. Number 9. Monteverdi Cloud Forest. Covering an area of more than 26,000 acres the Mont Verde Cloud Forest which is near the town of Mount Verde in Costa Rica is one of the most biodiverse regions in the world. Amazingly more than 90 of the forest is made up of virgin forest that has been unaltered by human activity. And it's home to at least 2,500 species of plants. 100 species of mammals, 400 types of birds, 161 reptiles and amphibians, and many thousands of different species of insects. It was only relatively recently that researchers realized just how important the Mont Verde Cloud Forest truly is. And it's now part of a wider conservation zone to hopefully preserve it for many generations to come. In an attempt to welcome visitors and teach them about the flora and fauna in the forest there's now a small lodge and visitor center. 
along with a series of trails and bridges that allow people to explore without causing any damage. Around 70,000 people visit the forest each year, and while more would probably like the opportunity. This is seen as the upper limit of what's allowed to prevent it from suffering the same fate as many other natural wonders have around the world. Number 8. The Goblin Forest. New Zealand is well known for its stunning landscapes. But there's one place on the slopes of Mount Taranaki that's been somewhat of a local secret and is known by those who live nearby as the Goblin Forest. The volcano last erupted around 400 years ago. During this event, it destroyed everything around its perimeter. With a new layer of nutrient-rich material having been deposited during the eruption the stage was set for a period of rapid growth and did prove to be the ideal environment for the Kamahi trees. They began to grow in every available spot and have subsequently been covered in various types of thick dewy moss. To make this look like the playground of goblins elves and pixies it could have been lifted straight out of a fairy tale, and those who are lucky enough to explore are treated to beautiful vistas in every direction and a complex network of streams, pools and waterfalls that have formed in lava tubes. It's unlike anywhere else in the country, and you'd be hard-pressed to find a forest as pristine and magical anywhere else on Earth. Tours are available along the hiking trails, but the best way to experience the Goblin Forest is to go off the beaten track and explore the undergrowth for yourself. Number 7. Dead Life Forest. Forests are usually thriving ecosystems whereby any trees or animals that aren't able to survive will be broken up into nutrients to help something else live. But when the environment changes so drastically that this natural process of decomposition isn't possible unusual things begin to happen. Deadfly Forest which is in the Namib Nakluft Park in Namibia is probably the strangest forest you could ever see. Mainly because all of the trees there are long dead. With a surface made of thick clay, the region used to be regularly flooded by the Sheyashab River. And even when the waters receded large pools were left behind. This proved to be plenty enough for a forest of camel thorn trees to grow. But around seven centuries ago during a drought sand dunes were able to build up around the region and blocked any of the river's water from reaching the area again. The trees soon died because of this, but the increasingly dry environment meant that the wood isn't able to decompose and has remained in place. Growing ever darker as it's scorched by the sun this forest of tree skeletons is broken up occasionally by some living plants that are able to extract enough moisture from the morning dew. But in the main, it's a remainder of what was once there. And how drastically a changing climate can alter a region. Number 6. Hollerbos Forest. In the Dutch municipality of Halle, there's a huge forest that feels like you've been transported directly into a fairy tale. Known as Hollerbos Forest it covers an area of around 360 acres and was once part of a much wider forested area. This all changed during the First World War. However, when the occupying German troops cut most of the trees down to be used as construction materials, and also to clear an easier route through the forest for vehicles. Despite efforts during the, the 1930s to the 1950s to replant what had been lost the forest has yet been able to fully recover. But this has led to the development of a different natural wonder instead. With the space opened up so light can reach the forest floor for a few weeks each year during spring the entire place is covered in a lush carpet of bluebells. The color they produce is so striking that it's been referred to as being a psychedelic purple forest. And it becomes one of the most popular tourist destinations in the region while the flowers are in bloom. Bluebell woods are of course found around the world, but there's none quite so large and awe-inspiring as this one. There are now attempts to prevent the forest from fully growing back to how it was historically for fear that allowing it to do so may mean it'll no longer be able to support the bluebells. Number 5. Singy Forest. Most forests are full of greenery and sprawling canopies of trees. But there's one in Madagascar that's completely different. Known as Singy Forest, it's the largest stone forest in the world, and it's been formed over the course of hundreds of millions of years. The region was once covered with a deep lake, and it was the deposits at the bottom of this lake's bed that slowly turned into a thick layer of limestone. 
Over time the lake drained away and tectonic forces pushed the limestone higher up, which then subjected it to erosion by the weather. The rain and wind wore away at the weaker parts of the limestone what remains today is a series of sharp jagged peaks and edges across an area of several acres. Its name which means walk on tiptoes refers to how treacherous it can be to cross the forest if it weren't for the man-made bridges and paths that allow you to safely traverse the razor-sharp formations. But possibly the most surprising thing about the Tsingi forest is that it's home to just as wide a range of species as most normal forests are. There are at least 11 different types of lemur and two of which are only found in this forest as well as countless birds insects and other mammals. Number 4. Yakushima Forest. The country of Japan is actually an archipelago of more than 6,850 islands. And while you may have heard of the main ones like Hokkaido, Honshu, Kyushu, and Okinawa, there are plenty more to explore many of which remain completely uninhabited. One of the larger islands off the south coast of Kyushu is called Yakushima, and it's home to one of the lushest forests on Earth. The island itself is just under 200 square miles and 46,850 acres of this is designated as a UNESCO Man and Biosphere Reserve. It has one of the most important remaining ancient forests you'll find anywhere, and there's a 3,000-acre section where there's no record or evidence of a tree ever being cut down by humans. The rest of the island has supported a logging industry throughout history, but there's been such a concerted effort to replant everything that's been taken that it remains covered in forest and is home to a wealth of different species of animal. Some of the oldest known examples of Japanese cedar grow in the island's forest. Along with more than 50 unique species of rhododendron and several trees aren't found anywhere else. It's a particularly special place for bird watchers with a number of rare species that live in the sanctity of the forest. And you're also likely to see red bottom of macaque sika deer and Japanese weasels. Number 3. Avenue of the Baobabs. It's not often that a dirt track is such an incredible sight that it attracts visitors from across the globe. But the Avenue of the Baobabs in western Madagascar isn't your typical road. It connects the city of Morandava with a town called Bologna Sarabihina, and even though none of it's paved, there's a foot stretch of the route that's well worth the trip. On either side of this part of the road, there are around 25 baobab trees with a further 25 growing in a nearby plot of land. Some of the trees are up to 100 feet tall and are over 2,800 years old. But while you may be left wondering why baobab's trees grow in such isolation the sad truth is this used to be a thick dense forest full of a wide range of different species. As loggers moved in to take the wood and also clear space for the increasing population. Most of the trees were cut down but the ancient baobabs were left in place because of how important they are to local communities. Since 2015 those along the avenue of the baobabs have been declared a natural monument under conservation. And even though there's a continued risk that they may one day be felled, the hope is that they'll be protected for many years to come. Number 2. Dragon's Blood Tree Forest. The Socotra Archipelago which is a series of islands in the Arabian Sea that are administered by Yemen is home to one of the most biodiverse regions on Earth. The reason for this is that they were separated from the mainland many millions of years ago. There are a number of plants and animals that have evolved independently there to what has happened elsewhere. This means there's a wide range of species that are unique to the islands, and one of the most unusual is the dragon blood tree. In some parts of Socotra, these dominating structures grow densely packed beside one another to create what's possibly the most bizarre forest in the world. Also commonly called the umbrella tree. The species has an upturned crown with tributary branches only growing upwards from the top of the tree. They almost look as if they're movie props from a distance, but as you get closer things get even stranger. Their name comes from the berries they produce and the sap that forms within the trunk, because if you collect any of the liquid it'll be a deep crimson red. This led to historical beliefs that the trees were linked to dragons, and as well as being used as a dye it also played a prominent role in local superstitions ritual magic and alchemy. Due to the high demand for this dragon blood, there aren't as many forests of these trees as there once were. 
But there's now an effort to help plant more and allow them to establish themselves so the wonders of Socotra can continue for many years to come. Number 1. Clear Lake Forest Around 3,000 years ago an eruption on the Sand Mountain in Oregon released huge rivers of lava that eventually cooled down and blocked a river that has now become a lake. With all this happening at an altitude of more than 3,000 feet, the water levels soon began to rise and cover the forest that had grown along the river's banks. But because the temperature was so low the wood didn't begin to decompose and had instead become petrified and preserved forever. As a result of this clear lake as it's now known as a spectacular place where pure mountain spring water is almost perfectly see-through, and as you look down you see the vast forest that's hidden beneath the surface. Covering an area of 148 acres the lake has unsurprisingly become quite a popular tourist attraction with kayakers and conors paddling across the surface. To find a vantage point and divers are able to swim into the depths and explore the forest close up. It's a peculiar sight to see. But there's also something magical about it too. Researchers aren't sure how well the forest has been preserved, but it's quite possible that if one day the water levels fall then the trees may well be able to start growing again. This is the end of our video. Now you say if you ever get the chance to visit any forest then what place you will choose. You can also watch some more amazing videos on our channel here.